I'm Altea Castro de la Mata reporting in the studio. A high school yearbook is a cherished part of every teen's high school experience. Some parents of H.N. King High School students in Kingsville want to know why their teens haven't received their yearbook from the 2022-2023 school year. I think it's important. I, you know, it doesn't have to be a, a $70 yearbook. Robin Mitchell is a mother of an 11th grader in H.M. King High School. Mitchell says she and a few other parents paid $70 for the 2022-2023 school yearbook this past April. We've paid for the yearbook um, back in April. Um, here it is October, end of October, and we haven't gotten a yearbook. Three months into this new school year, Mitchell and others who purchased last year's hardcover book are still waiting for it. Mitchell says that for months she's been in constant communication with the school. She and other parents have been asking one question. When will they get their yearbook? She's getting ready to go to college. She needs, you know, where's her yearbook? Where's, you know, where's all that fun stuff that goes with it? It's memories is what it's creating. It's great memories. I spoke with Kingsville ISD Superintendent Cecilia Reynolds Perez, who told me a digital copy of the yearbook was distributed in May. She also said the district has been in close communication with the parents, updating them as to why the books were delayed. We want to make sure they're high quality. So if we ask for revisions, we know that's going to take a little bit longer, and that's what we've explained. We know it's going to take longer, but we want them to have as quality yearbook as possible. Bennett says they wanted to make sure they chronicled most of the year all the way until graduation and prom as well. She says the district is working with the publishing company to fill all the yearbook's orders. We um, didn't have a hard date. We just continued to have the dates from the publishing company. But if there were errors, then we sent it back to make sure it gets to be the quality that we believe the students deserve. Superintendent Reno Perez says hope they hope to get a final draft in a few weeks. If there are no issues with it, they'll give the publisher the okay to print the yearbooks. They would then be distributed sometime in November. Reporting in the studio, Altea Castro de la Mata, Chris 6 News.